everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's currently Wednesday, Tuesday. I don't know. I work every day. I don't. Know. It's, it, it just kind of blurs together. I think it's Tuesday. Yes. Uh, about 3:30. I just go back from work and check the mail like I always do. And there's some good stuff today. Check it out. But we're gonna see what's inside this month. Oh, okay, so if anybody out there doesn't know who, what Loot Crate is, it's pretty much uh, if for like a certain amount of money a month, it depends on which one you get, they send you a box full of just nerdy stuff. That's the best way I can describe it because I am a huge nerd when it comes to half of this stuff. As you can see, I got a pretty good collection of stuff already, uh, minus the. So all of this stuff here, so kind of like little knickknacks, and uh, so here's a little alien guy right here. That's a Hulk. That's a puzzle from the Matrix. That's Deadpool. This is a rubber ice mold that makes a 20-sided die for the ice cube. That's pretty cool. This one's one of my favorites. It's a Doom glass with the demon on the, on the other side. I just got this one last month. It's a little uh, Brotherhood of Steel guy from Fallout, and a bunch of little things from that's from Overwatch. I'm not sure what that's from, but not only that, but each box you can flip inside out, and it gives you like a cool little like diorama of something. Uh, there's the Fallout one. That one's from like the you see the dead one with zombies in there, and then that's like the jungle. Pretty sweet stuff, if you ask me. Uh, money well spent. I'm not forcing it upon anybody, and I'm not getting paid to do this, but I really enjoy it. So I just want to give you guys a heads up because I know I don't know when I first signed up, it wasn't very descriptive, but uh, consider this video just that. So we'll just go ahead and get started. I think I need a skizzers up in here. Alright. Oh, I can't. It's my first time. Sorry. I cannot open this box. Save me life. There we go. So, it looks like... Take a look. It looks like the theme of this month is futuristic. And already, this is how they kind of pack it. You get a uh, you get a t-shirt in every box, of course, and then everything else is just random. So, let's go ahead and open it up one by one here. Flip that back over so you can so I can see myself. Alrighty. That's an interesting shirt, huh? Right? Right? Looks like it's futuristic. Um, Rick and Morty. I'm not sure what Rick and Morty is, but it's, they make really nice shirts here. It's like those. It's like a really soft, light kind of feel. And each one, you know, is exclusive to. Uh, it's exclusive to Lucre. They make their own T-shirts, and they don't sell them anywhere else but these. And I have a little. Looks like I have a little Mega Man box, and there's probably a little guy inside with different people. Those are the different ones I can get. So, let's take a gander. I keep looking at the screen and not the lens. It's so weird. Try to get used to. I need my skizzers again. Usually there's this little stand. <laughs> look, look at him. He's a little guy. Maybe just about the size, you can see my hand, he's just about the size of my palm, not even that. Little guy I can add to the collection, of course. I was never a big Mega Man fan, but you know, it's cool, I'll take it. Oh, get out. If you guys have watched Futurama, you, well actually you don't really have to watch Futurama to know what this is. This looks like it's a, uh, the ship that they drive. Or, you don't drive a ship, but you fly it. And it looks like it's the actual model for it. So, I'm gonna crack her open here. Oh, this is the stand. It's the little holder for the ship. Oh, it's like taped. Everything is taped. They don't mess around when it comes to secure. And I think this one's taped too. It is. Go team. Alright. Let's 
go ahead and see if we can get this to stand up. Yeah, look at that, that's pretty cool. Again, it's like the size of my palm. If you've ever seen the ship on the show, you know what this is. Um, oh, it's a magnet, that's cool. Is that the way it's supposed to go? If it hoops out? Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. And it's supposed to face inward, like so. And there we have it. Look at that, on a little stand. That's pretty cool. Add it to my uh, collection over there. Is there something else in here? Oh, there's not. Okay. And this looks like something from Star Trek. If you've seen the new movies, they're pretty awesome. I really like them. But let's, let's try and... Oh, actually, there's a rip thing for it, so I don't have to break whatever it's inside. It's a good thing, too. I don't know what this is. It says it just says Star Trek on it. It's like a little flat thing. It says I'm not sure what this is. It's a weird feeling piece of paper. It's it says USS Enterprise, Galaxy Class Starfleet Registry. Is it a sticker? Launch start date, and then it shows all of the captains of every ship in Starfleet, if you know what that is. I'm not sure what this is. It tells you what everything is in the book. Oh wait, something peels off here. Oh, it's like a... Oh, this feels weird. What is this? Is it a big sticker? Oh, it is! It's a very, very big sticker. I'm gonna put this on the box when we flip it inside out. This is really kind of cool feeling. Huh. And it smells weird. I don't know why I smelled it, but, you know. And it looks like we got a 4001 AD Looks like some sort of comic book. I'm not sure uh, what comic this is, but. And of course, before each thing is, uh, for, before each crate comes out, they tell you what theme it is, so they don't leave you hanging, and you don't buy something you don't like. But, uh, yeah, so this is kind of like a, like a cool looking comic. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll take it. Our garbage. And then every loot crate comes with a little pin for the theme it was and what month and day, like the date and everything. So you look at that. July 2016, futuristic was the theme. And that's a little Star Trek pin. Live long and prosper. And this is the book that comes with each one as well. It tells you what each thing is in the inside. Better hurry up because my battery's about to die. But uh so yeah, that's pretty cool. It tells you what each thing is and goes in depth about stuff coming up and yeah, so we'll flip this box inside out and uh, see if we can get that sticker on there. So there you have it. As you can see, it is fairly easy to get those on there. Um, I, just, I have a couple months experience, of course. <laughs> but there it is. So let's go ahead and see if we can stick this sticker somewhere, like, you know, right on here. So I'm probably really mad at me because I probably like that sticker. It's better for something else than just a cardboard box, but don't judge me. You're not the boss. Buy your own. Let's go ahead and get this off here. Stick it right there. So there we have it, USS Enterprise, all official and everything, all the crews on board, set to rock and roll. So yeah, really cool stuff in those loot crates. I get those at the beginning of the month and the end of every month because they have two different kinds. I get the loot gaming and I also just get the regular loot crate. So yeah, make sure to look those up and again, I'm not getting paid to do this, I just thought it'd be a good idea to show in the vlog because like I said, I like seeing stuff inside 
and I explained to people, a couple people what these were and they don't really kind of understand it, so. So there's a little, you know, get to know for you. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments below and, uh, I don't know, buy one. <laughs> let me tell you something. If you're in air conditioning and you go outside and your glasses fog up, you might as well stay inside for the rest of the year. It is about a hundred degrees here, uh, and it's like if you go outside, you can just sit down and just sweat. And it's not because of the sun either; the humidity is just retarded. <clears throat> that I means you see this right here. That's that's uh that's my bed. Because we do not have air conditioning in some apartments. In central air, I mean. We have a window unit right there. And it's too hot to sleep in our own bedroom. So, go Midwest. The winter suck, the summer suck. There you go. Let's tell you one thing. The beer is always cold. <laughs> I believe that one's our lettuce one. That is a watermelon one. I don't know if you can see fully into the... I think there's a second one kind of peeking down like towards here. Or there's one right there. That one is uh, Roma Tomatoes, and the right one, or the right one is Roma Tomatoes, which is looking a little brown. And then the one right next to it is, I think, Cucumber. So I don't know how those grow in this heater, if they even do it all. They all grow in the uh, United States. Hello. They all grow, holy God, close. They all grow in the Midwest. They're able to anyway, but uh, I have never, me or my girlfriend have never been, well, we've never had our own garden, so we just bought some stuff we thought would work and put it in a planter, so who knows? We'll see what happens there. Uh, we might, I don't know, judging by the acidic water of the St. Paul area, we might grow a new plant with three arms, who knows? It's not that bad, it's not like LA or Hong Kong. I don't know if plants even grow there. Whatever. Well, this feels weird. What is this?